new heights, new materials, global demand for energy and consumer goods. Around the world, the challenge of protecting people and property from fire is growing more complex every day. And challenges mean opportunities for fire protection engineers trained by WPI. Founded in 1865, Worcester Polytechnic Institute is a world leader in the theory and practice of engineering principles. Today, the need for fire protection engineering is global, and so is WPI. Through its advanced distance learning network, WPI reaches people around the world who are ready to take on the challenges and enjoy the rewards of becoming a fire protection engineer. WPI did a very innovative thing when they created the Fire Protection Engineering Program almost 30 years ago now in that they created one of the very first graduate programs in fire protection engineering, you know, thereby acknowledging the, the need to bring in people from very different disciplines, to bring them in with in-depth knowledge in their fields and to then apply that knowledge in a collaborative form to make the world a safer place. We established our online program simply to serve the needs of the world in fire protection engineering, the needs of the people who are geographically unable to come and join us on campus. We have graduate students from over 30 different countries. It is uh, phenomenally successful and well respected uh, throughout the world. The online program at WPI is very, very different from most online programs in that it, it is a part of our regular program. Most schools offer an online program that is separate from the on-campus program, may have different teachers, different classes. Our program is integrated. The online students actually uh, sit, so to speak, in class with the on-campus students. They have the same homework, the same exams, the same lectures. They may even be on project teams with the on-campus students. We have the latest and most advanced technology and we utilize that to bring the online students together with the on-campus students and they learn together from each other. From cargo ships to coal mines to suppressing fires in nuclear power plants, WPI professor Ali Rangwala is an expert in industrial fire protection. Uh, WPI is only the, the only school that offers a graduate class in industrial fire protection. It's a synthesis class so it's typically a student after he he or she takes a few classes at WPI, um, which are the, the initial classes like fire dynamics, fire suppression, uh, building fire safety, and so on. Then the industrial fire protection class acts as a synthesis where the student uses the material from all the different classes that he or she has taken and then applies the knowledge gained uh, to solve some practical engineering problems that are faced by industry. So we, we take a very fundamental approach where we, 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 we teach the students the codes and standards that, that give you a strict guideline that do this, do this, do this, do this. And we also teach them a performance-based approach where given a problem, uh, especially in the industry, which is, which, which is very, very complex, it, it involves a lot of components, how do you, how do you solve it uh, from an engineering approach? So how do you simplify it by using, um, an, uh, by using, a very sim by using an engineering approach and then divide it into different parts and, and solve some parts by using codes and standards, solve some parts by using simple engineering uh, analysis, solve some parts by using models like mathematical models to, to model fires, to model uh, structural integrity and so on. And, uh, and, and so we, we, we teach the students how to divide the, a very complicated problem into simple components and then solve each component individually and then group it together. Uh, so some of my stu students come from uh, Korea, South Korea. Uh, they have, have had students from Japan, from India, from um, uh, Australia. Um, I also have s uh, some students come from um, Europe, for example, Sweden, uh, UK. Before joining the faculty at WPI, Professor Brian Meacham led risk assessments and fire protection engineering projects for some of the tallest and most complex buildings in the world. The new challenges in buildings are related, I think, to three different areas. One, we need to better understand what type of fires we can have in these facilities, how quickly they can grow, develop, and spread, and then what the impacts are on the structure and on the people. 
and also the structural resilience as we're looking at buildings that could be you know a kilometer high and higher you know what can you withstand in terms of a size of fire before you worry about structural collapse as we've seen in the recent fire in, in the Netherlands or the Windsor building fire in Madrid if that were to occur in a very tall building the consequences would be extreme. The performance based design course is primarily intended to work within a performance building code regime or where a building doesn't fit the actual code requirements. And this is one of the reasons where performance-based design is being used more and more around the world in that there is not enough uh, specificity in the system to address every building. So as buildings become taller, larger, new challenges, you have to engineer the fire protection. And that's what performance-based design is all about. We use a lot of computational analysis and computer modeling as the normal course in fire protection engineering these days. It's just not practical to run fire tests for every new material and every building configuration. So we have to use computational modeling to do three things. Effectively look at how fires grow and spread and develop, so that would be what we call fire effects modeling also to look at how people move because we want to get a good sense for not only how quickly people move but how they're dispersed in a building which exits they might use how quickly how they decide where to go and then we want to look at how the building actually performs so it's a structural resilience to the fire load that's being put on the building right now those are all three different types of models and typically the analysis is run independently and the engineer, and this is where the fire protection engineer plays a major role, is integrating all those different analyses to come up with good recommended design practice for the building. Esther Kim earned her undergraduate degree in chemical engineering in Korea before enrolling in WPI's online program for fire protection engineering. She is now a PhD student at WPI. I started back in Korea uh, as a online student a distance learning student. The professors were very responsive uh, through emails and uh, they really thought about the students throughout the world. It's been great. Uh, it was very rewarding because the things that I've learned here are very cutting edge. This engineering field is different from other engineering fields because this is more about people and their safety and their um, protecting their properties. While um, other engineering's, they're more considered about uh, optimizing to make more profits. So that was one of my reasons that I wanted to study this fire protection engineering. A native of Lebanon, Basil Mayhew is an associate engineer at a leading fire protection engineering consulting group. He travels to job sites around the world and continues his graduate studies online. Doing my master's degree online is very helpful. It's, I think it's even better than going to class. Watching online helps you, you know, see everything, you can repeat everything, you can schedule your your time whenever you want to you know, view the uh, lectures. You can interact with the professors and all the students online. Um, you know, they have discussion boards. You, you can send your assignments whenever you want. And it's very easy, very you know, helpful. Well, I've had a very great experience in Dubai. Um, you know, going there, meeting new people, new clients, working with the big minds, with the big people over there, it's very, it's a very good experience. George Toth is the chief operating officer of the RJA Group, a global fire protection consultancy, and he chairs the advisory board for WPI's fire protection engineering program. The need for fire protection engineers is uh, growing dramatically um, daily. Uh, it's becoming a global phenomenon. And quite frankly, the challenge is there's just not enough fire protection engineers to meet uh, the needs of, of industry. The WPI fire protection engineering program is very rigorous. 
Uh, the graduates that we see coming out of the program are well prepared uh, to practice fire protection engineering in the workplace. The program reputation is, is the best. Uh, it's top notch. WPI does a great job of giving their graduates the fundamentals of science and engineering so that they can go into the workforce and practice uh, engineering at the consulting level or the industry level and we're very pleased with the program. My students are all over the world. They come from all over the world and they go out all over the world. Our students know that they have the flexibility to take a job, move about the world as they see fit and as benefits them and that the WPI educational experience will go with them wherever they go. I choose to, to serve as chairman of the Board of Advisors for the FPE program at WPI because um, I need fire protection engineers. And this board is, is a uh, group of industry uh, leaders, uh, some of which are my competitors, but we all share the same goals. We need more fire protection engineers. Very well prepared right now. I think the LPI was very helpful to me. Um, I took what I wanted from the LPI, uh, all the required courses that I wanted, all the information, the, you know, the experience, um, and I'm ready to go. Theory and practice, learning and working, a quality online degree. Around the world, WPI's Fire Protection Engineering Program is the standard for excellence. Act now, accept the challenge, and see what the WPI program can do for you.